Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Big. And now it's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going to He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Lee's shot is blocked. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Tags him with the left hand. 
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And he landed the right hand there. Good sit. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Lands the right hand. Nice head kick. Back and forth we go. There it is. Take the shot now. Take the shot. Over and over, he's landed these big boxes. Whoa! He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got it. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Wow, huge head kick. Just missed on that spinning attack. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Big kick land. Watch knees to the body. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Just missing on the high kick there. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Huge block there. Big punch lands over the top. Oh, I'll give call this one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, round two. Ooh, head kick lands from Herbert. Just missed with the left there. Stay busy. You control this. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. kick there by Lee. Big ball from Punch Lance. Now we get back in range. Back to oh, nice slip. And then the counter for good measure. So making good use of that reach advantage now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Caught that kick there. Leg kick. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Looking to land the leg kick now. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down for the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big punch land. Ooh. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Right there, that'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to adapt in the right time. Nice stupid punch. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Try to establish that jab. Trying to kick the leg out. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Switching stances here. Straight punch lands. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Thirty seconds to go in round two. He loaded up there on that high kick. Twenty seconds left. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, 
if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Big punch lands through the middle. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Oh man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. It does not feel good. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ooh, what a punch. You gotta dig deep here. Oh, wow! Head kick! just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. Even the you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Blocks that strike. Loaded up on that one and landed. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Head kick land. Let me see that hook down. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just misses with the right hook. <laughs> Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Right hand punch from the clinch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice strike. Oh, nice. Jab, cross, high kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. You need to get a takedown now. 20 seconds now remain in the round. 
liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice defense there, huge block. Lee gets caught with that punch, his chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Look at him chopping his woods, chopping the woods with those leg kicks. Now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough thing to even be on his feet right now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Massive head kick. And a knee. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Beautiful body kick. Good punch land. Counters with that inside leg kick. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. There. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Real sneaky body kick. Counter is now left hook to the head lands. Big kick lands. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Liver kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, once gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Lee gets caught with that punch. Mike engages in the single collar dive. Right hand punch from the clinch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Ninety seconds remain in the round. Oh, and he caught the kick. Whiffs on the right hand. Right hand landed. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Nice body kick. There's oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Out 
out of range with that kick attempt. Big body kick. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Straight punch on the counter is good by Lee. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. Knee to the body. Final seconds. Nice kick. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice straight punch. turns his hip over when he throws that kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, no! at trying to shut the liver down. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Powerful leg kick land. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Keep the pressure on. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Let's go. Burn his body. Burn his body. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and bounce start. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Lee's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, 
Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Leg kick checked by Lee. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. But how about that chin? Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Beautiful body kick. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. 30 seconds now to go in the round. to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you... Right there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a very bad history. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Now a knee. Didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-45. Clearing the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was 